packings, all of the work has been done. Gotta take this over to LFDs. Canadia trip, baby. Canadia? Canada. Canada, yeah. Canada. <laughs> You're going to the Canada. I'm going to the Mapleville, yeah. Oh, bring me back some maple syrup, yeah. I've been packing like all day. Lures, rods, gear. Got some new new stuff I'm gonna be trying out. So excited to go up to Canada, guys, but um, my dad's gonna be leaving early. LFD is, is making the trek. I put my pants on backwards, babe. Sure did. <laughs> Been wearing them like that all day. Discombobulated, just realized that. But my dad's going up there early and I gotta give him all the stuff. I'm gonna fly up there and he's taking all of this. Camping gear, fishing gear, I've got tons of lures. Uh, it's all in there. So he's gonna make this mighty journey. Hey, can you close that tailgate? I sure can. Like a, like a champion. Doesn't she look good? That cute little bump, little dress on. She's such a cutie. And she left me some special notes. Oh, I sure did. In the casa, I gotta show you guys that because it was, it was super, super nice. It's a little scavenger hunt for the anniversary. When I got back from Missouri, she left me a little scavenger hunt. So she left some nice notes. I'll show a couple of them. Show how sweet you are. Oh. And and the chocolate chip cookies. I don't make those all the time. I know. <laughs> okay. Here we go. There's LFD. He's like Forrest Gump. Snap. Hello. Hey Forrest. Sorry I'm running a little late. Got to get this grass mode so Big Red and I can take off early in the morning. This is what we're carrying up to the cabin. I still have to get this fish mounted. That's a giant pike. It's a trophy pike for up there. They wanted me to sign a photo and put it in the cabin because that's uh, one of the biggest if not the biggest pike they've ever landed uh, out of anybody at that cabin. We've still got stuff. This has been the problem. This is what me and LFD are gonna have to do is, we've been up there a few times, we kinda know what's going on, but I made this box the other day. I kinda put it together. I just don't wanna take too much, but gosh, I wanna make sure I've got some of the goods, you know? Last year I caught them on a, a rat. What was that? Did you guys hear that? Oh, it's that lure right there. It's making noises. I got some wake baits in here. Uh, a lot of top water activity. There's some chatter baits. Hopefully they're just smashing top waters. You never know. Canada's gonna be so much fun. Plus it's gonna be Father's Day. It's just a good time. It's a good old time with LFD out there. Love it. Making this a little tradition to go out there every year. Let's see what's going on in here. Hey ho, man! Came in hot. Babe, babe, go get him. Not me. No, 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 no. <laughs> Easy. Easy. That comes down just right sit, there. Sit, sit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the mighty bulldog. Hopefully the swan out pulled that hard, huh? Oh, LFD. Breaking out the hot smoke. One last celebration grilling before we leave for Canada. Did you get the Franks red hot? I did. All right. Yeah, I need your help because uh, we've got so much stuff and we need to sift through it. How many rods do you think you're going to bring? I'm going to carry five bass rods, two fly rods, one for you, one for me. Oh, there we go. And I'm hoping you'll carry those ultralights. We're going to take a couple ultralights. We're probably going to end up doing an ultralight challenge. They're, the fish are feeding on, uh, or they have in the past, fed on like really small little flies. Um, so the fly rod's good. Stephanie wants to, no. okay. <laughs> I've, I've, been, I've been known to eat. <laughs> that I have to make stuff before I get hungry. One last delicious supper <laughs> until we go into the woods. <laughs> You're gonna have fresh fish. Oh, I know it. Golden Krispies of the North. You don't even know about those. No, I don't. They're so delicious. But I, I wish we could bring back more. Oh. No. Way, way down here. Look at that no. service. Can I get a pillow too, please? Oh, maybe that is pretty good. Is that okay? Can I get a... That is nice. You sit over here. Back roller. <laughs> you sit over there. Oh, you can yeah. sit on that rock over there. I'll right. get you up. You're being well behaved now. I appreciate your kindness. Just had a delicious steak perfectly done by LFD on that big green egg. I got this new bag. Right after I got Willis, I got this bag when I was doing a lot of traveling just before I 
discovered my brain tumor. This bag is really tough. It holds a ton of stuff. It's perfect for traveling. It's gonna be cold up there. So I'm taking a lot of sweatshirts. I'm taking some thermals, I'm taking some jeans, some rain gear. Actually, my rain gear is right here. I mean, we're literally going to Rainy Lake. You better be prepared with some rain gear. My free range bag. Um, these are for sale if you guys want to get one of these. I actually use it all the time. I keep it in my truck, and this is typically what I put my extra clothes in. I put some rain gear, I put face shields, I put fishing gloves, that kind of stuff in there. Um, I've got a hatchet in there right now. I've got a knife, some cold gear. I need to go grind some free range bean coffee to take up there. That's gonna be a nice little treat while we're up at the cabin. I've got a thermocell unit. I've got my cold gear gloves. It's got a lot of little hidden pockets in there. That's for mosquitoes, a little mosquito net. Line, carrying fishing line. I'm carrying a bunch of these. These are OSG approved, by the way. Uh, this is like a quick breakfast type deal. Typically don't have a lot of fruit hanging around at man camp, you know, in the cabin. So this has got a lot of um, just nutrients in it. The nutrients you typically get from fruit and it's got some grains and stuff in there just to give you some energy. I have a little cookware set. The cookware set is going to be used probably when we're doing walleye. Um, on the shore, I've got dry bags, and then I've got my Garmin unit. I use it for texting, where I can text anywhere, plus it gives mapping updates of where I am. And I've already been online, I've looked at some, some detailed maps, and you can pair that up with that. It's pretty cool, so. Flashlight, this is uh, to start fires with. Just get out of the way, go and see the Canadian wilderness. Tons of just awesome natural nature up there. My Guggen Squad bag. This is full of the terminal and essential plastics that I need. So I've got all my jig heads, tube stuff, of course plastics. I've got a ton, oh, oh those are lures actually. And then plastics are going on in here. I've got tons of tubes. I got a new sleeping bag this year. The cabin we stay at, it's under snow for most of the year. Bears try to get into it and it gets cold at night. And the two guys I'm staying with, they keep it freaking cold in there. So. I got a good sleeping bag so I can stay warm. And then in this bin right here, we've got all our extras. We got uh, extra tube jig heads. I've got spinner baits, you know, grubs. I've got tons of swim baits to use as tra trailers because I remember the chatter bait was good there last time. So I think we've got a lot of the bases covered right here, guys. I think it's going to be a great trip. Can't wait to figure out the juice. They should be spawning. Oh. And I've got some new rods I need to show you guys. OSG, what's going on? Just coming to see what you guys are up to. Oh, you, you all still packing? You want to be the rod model? The rod model? Yeah. Can oh, baby model there, there you go. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to take them out because I already dabbled them up there. But I'm fishing a new rod series this trip. You guys already know about my um, the LFG series and the big sexy line. So I'm carrying two of those because it's kind of like an all-purpose. Throw chatter baits, spinner baits. I can throw some tubes on there if I want. Uh, also carrying those for pike. And then I'm trying a new high-end spinning series uh, from Favorite. I mean, the rods aren't new. They're just new to me. And I'll be talking about those when I get up there. But this is the Rush and the Jackhammer. And they are uh, highly sensitive, just specialized spinning rods. I don't typically use real high-end spinning rods just because I'm from Texas. I, I usually only have like two in the boat at any time, but up where I'm going, it's real important to have the right action spinning rods. Anyway, while I was up at the favorite favorite fishing uh, ranch, I got some. So I'm going to try those out, and I'll let you guys know what I think about them. Do you think I'm prepared? I think you're more than prepared. I feel like you're going away for a month. But I'm going to get my little spinning rods, my little fairy ones. All rigged up. I've also got some new reels I'm going to put on those. We're just going to get on some big brown beauties. Think. And while you're gone, I'm gonna be in full nesting mode, getting baby room ready. You're gonna be eating baby room ready? Mm -hmm. What are you gonna get done? The crib? I need everything done. Mm -hmm. Let's start with the crib and we'll see how far we go after Well, that. she's been nesting. I kinda got my office organized today. It was a very productive home day for us. And I'm just excited to get up there. You gonna be all right without me? Well, my parents are coming down for a couple days while you're gone. So we're gonna get all Manny and Denise down here. So they're gonna be just fine. We'll miss you though. 
We always do. Dude, that's sweet. She's so sweet. And she made me cookies. My gosh. <laughs> I'm such a lucky man. <laughs> All this chick banter in the back of my videos. Yeah, so, so great. We're just enjoying our woman time. Me and Dad are gonna go enjoy some man time. And play with some lures out in the garage with the smell of gasoline, <laughs> weed eaters, and garlic. Be scent, here with your girls. Lures. Yeah, you girls, including B, can <laughs> hang out right there. Got the coffee ground. Coffee! Yes! Get us going in the morning when the top water bites on me. <laughs> Filet knives. I'm gonna take one. LFD is gonna hit the road tomorrow morning. It's gonna be how long of a journey? Well, it's 1260 something miles, so, you know, I'm gonna say 20 hours. Pretty good haul. Yep, we'll, we'll make it work. I'm just gonna fly out there and uh, make it easy on myself. This was his idea, by the way. It's about the journey, he says. It's about the journey. I, I had the time. I can drive up there. I can see all the sights across the United States, literally, and then pick you up and then drive straight into Canada. I appreciate you doing that, Dad. Thank you. It's going to be hard. Can't upload anything up there. I like to go on trips like this, though, and disconnect for a little bit. I think everyone needs some time off to just disconnect. Amazon was the ultimate. That was like realization to me. It was like three days of panic. Oh, I can't do Instagram. Oh, I can't do oh, YouTube. I can't upload. And then all of a sudden I was like, you know what? This is amazing. You're just cut off from the cell phone world, the, all the social apps. There's something about just disconnecting. It really, really is important, especially as we keep advancing in technology. So I think everyone should get out, especially this summer. Weather's nice. Go, go camping. Throw that phone in the truck for a while and then just get away, you know? Post your pictures afterwards. Post your videos afterwards. That's what I like to do. You know, SG, you gotta get back. I gotta get some more cookies. I'm gonna show you guys a special note she left me for uh, our anniversary. She's so sweet. Then we're gonna retire from the night, do this whole fishing thing all over again, guys. I love it. Man, I love it. I'm so blessed to get to do this, guys. I love you. Thank you for all the support. Ooh, let's tell some stories. <laughs> what? There's something on you? Oh yeah, you may want to turn that around. Here, let me, sorry, honey. Every Friday night, there's fireworks out here on the lake, and we just can't see them. Like, the trees are too high, so we can't see over, so it's kind of a bummer. But we can hear them. Just listen to these fireworks blasted off. We need to go do this one day. This is gonna be so fun when we have little Emmy. Wait, can we, like, go on your boat, and, like, at night? And... Oh, absolutely. Why haven't we done that by We now? need to go out on the Excuse boat me. at night on Friday and go watch the fireworks. We need to do that. That'll be a fun date. Um, okay, next Friday, I claim you for my date. Well, I'll be in Canada, but... <laughs> it, Two Fridays. We got plenty of Fridays. You probably can't hear him over the bugs. You just leave that light going, and you pretty much just got bugs everywhere. I'm giving him dinner. All right, we got to go in and shut the lights off. That's what you got to do at night here. All right, y'all, I got to show you this, because this is what I came home to. It says, I love you so much. And I love that you appreciate my cooking, which I absolutely do, and baking. I always want to keep our kitchen filled with homemade goodies just for you. Just for you. Oh, well, I think they're for you, too. That Whatever. is happening right now. Oh, what are these called again? That was a layer of chocolate chip cookies. Thousand layer chocolate chip cookies. They smell delicious. Hey. <laughs> All around the house. Little cute, little things. Little things she likes about me for anniversary. It was a really sweet thing to do, very thoughtful. If you're wondering what I did, um, I bought her house. <laughs> you bought me a kitchen table? Yeah, I, yeah, so she could put the notes in it. She loves it. And uh, we gotta bless our house with some of this white sage that one of you fishing freaks left us. That'll be a whole nother video, but for now, it's time to close it out with some milk and cookies. Actually, that's not milk. That's almond juice or something. It's almond milk. Would you like some milk? That's not really milk. This is your milk. Yeah, I want my I want real milk with those real cookies. All right, y'all. Next videos are gonna be Canadian bacon style. It's gonna be so good up there. I can't wait to take y'all up there and show you everything. If you've missed the videos in the past years, if you're a new subscriber, uh, it's pretty amazing. So subscribe right here so you don't miss those and hit the ding-dongs so you get every single video. Don't miss a single bite. 
And if you want to check out OSG in the interim, go ahead and subscribe to the family channel. The Big Life Fam. You can go check out the Make Life. You can go check out OSG and her, their baby bump and the tree house. Alrighty y'all, thanks for being here. I'm gonna go chow down on some of these cookies. We'll see y'all in the next one.